Lunch break. I didn't get to do my spiel last week, but you got an exclusive, exclusive uh, spiel from my wife, Melissa, who actually introduced everybody to Lunch Break. Um, and man, I should like cut that and just use that in all the episodes or something like that, right? Yeah. So thank you everybody for joining Lunch Break once again. We are here. Um, I'm going to put you here. Well, I'm here. Because uh, I'm afraid of talking to you. Um, Thank you for joining Lunch Break. <laughs> I'm your host, Christian Knight. Um, of course, as you see, uh, this is open now um, because uh, we need some cool air because it's really hot. Um, but yes, uh, we are celebrating episode 89, people. Holy crap. We're almost to the hundreds. Almost, almost, almost. And we have Jordan and James who are on the live already. Um, so we should have a smooth transition today or a smooth transmission? Transmission, not transition. What are we trying to transfer? I don't know. That makes no sense to me. But yes, anyway, thank you everybody for joining us um, for another episode of Lunch Break. The show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch. But we are still bringing you quarantine special edition. So think about that. There's a lot of things you can do if you're at work. Not at the moment, but you might have to do some prep work at home to bring it with you to work for break. I mean, you could do most of the steps at home if you wanted to, and then just bring it home and do the rest there. If you can, mind you, some people can't anymore. But anyway, I digress. So on today's episode, and by the way, before I go into saying what today's episode is, thank you everybody for staying safe, for me to be able to see you guys for another day. Um, hope y'all doing well and, and literally taking care of precautions to make sure nothing is happening to you or your family or anybody else, you know. And we thank all those people who are doing their due diligence of staying safe, maintaining cautiousness, and doing what they have to do. Because, listen, we all should be here for the next day and tomorrow, and I want to do the same. So, okay. So, anyway, on today's episode, we are doing ba -ba -da -bom, cheesy ground turkey quesadilla CK style. Because I'm going to show you a hack on doing quesadillas. Now normally when you do quesadillas, you put one flat surface, put whatever the <clears throat> F you want in the middle, and then put another flour tortilla on top, and then boom, cook it, you got yourself a quesadilla. But I'm going to show you a way to do the quesadillas as a pocket that resembles like crepes because it is much easier to do than having to cut into a quesadilla because everything just spills out from the sides. And I'm not a person that likes messiness. I'm gonna show you a very interesting way of doing this. So yeah, so mind you on that. So that's what we're doing today. And a bit of knowledge drop, which is gonna blow your mind on the second tip bit that I tell you. The first one maybe not because mostly everybody knows about it. But the second one blew my mind. Cause it's like, what? So mind you, quesadillas, its origins are actually from colonial Mexico. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows it's from Mexico. You know, so the quesadilla as a food has changed and evolved over many years, and many people have experimented and done different variations with it. Everybody knows that. Steak, chicken, vegan, everything. Quesadilla flour, corn, corn tortilla flour, any type of way, they've done many different variations, and everybody knows that. There's many different tortillas out there there's many different variations of putting whatever it is you want to eat in the quesadilla so that it literally is up to you, the person who's making it and then quesadillas are also frequently sold in Mexican restaurants all over the world and in many different areas and many different restaurants that's the first tip there. let's put that one to the side now this one is the one that blew my mind I was like what so <laughs> quesadilla actually literally means little cheesy thing but that's not what blew my mind right so quesadillas originated in the northern and central mexico in the 16th century right 
with me so far. But here's here's the spiel now. So they originally first were made with corn tortillas and were already already popular among the Aztec people. But did you know, right, that they used to stuff it with squash and pumpkin and then baked it in the clay oven and actually it was served as a dessert. As a dessert. If if free it what? It literally the first origins of a quesadillas was literally first a dessert. It was a treat. So the treat or dessert became something else when someone uh, don't say Jay don't don't laugh when someone stuck meat into it. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. <laughs> but that's what ended up happening. So the original dessert of the Aztecs turned into uh, a dish that had um, stuff in it. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it again. But yeah, that's that's basically what quesadilla came about. A little cheesy thing. So it wasn't cheesy before, it was a dessert. Can't, can't move that. But yeah, so that's what it was. So now, without further ado, let's get on to what we're doing today. So we're going to be making ground turkey quesadillas for those who are just tuning in. And the first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands. Because that's what you should always do. Okay, you should always do that. I'm going to put you guys this way. Yes. Cleanliness is very, very, very important. It is. So, I'm going to take my pot here that I've washed already. Turn on our heat. And mind you, like I said, you can do this also at home. If you, when you first buy um, any of your meat products, <laughs> um, before you stick it into the freezer, because remember, it's been in a refrigerator type of cooling situation when you go to uh, supermarkets. Um, Cut it first, and then divide it, and then put it in your freezer. If you're just gonna be portioning it out, and you know you're not cooking the whole thing for everybody, um, because then you're just gonna waste the whole thing if you're not gonna eat it all at you know within two or three days, mind you. Um, but you can also keep it refrigerated in your refrigerator until you get to that point. Because mind you, once you put it in your freezer, defrosting the product and trying to you know throw it out and then put it back in the freezer, don't do that because it. It degrades the, the actual product and it actually makes it go bad real quick if you, if you think about it. Um, but always separate, keep, keep it cold and refrigerated in, in the refrigerator first, um, then separate it and then put it in your freezer and stock it and do whatever you gotta do. Unless you're gonna do the whole thing, then put it in your freezer. That's a little tidbit from my wife Melissa. If she was here, she would tell you that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some oil and we're gonna put a little bit into our pan we want to make sure our ground turkey does not stick to our pan or pot. Uh, like I said, if you're doing this in, in a microwave environment, okay, in a microwave environment, you will put a little bit in a microwave safe bowl, and that's how you will cook it in the microwave with the lid. Mind you, remember, always make sure you put a lid on it because those things explode. Anything explodes in it, okay? So we got the oil, it's heating up. Make sure, if you're doing this at home, make sure you have it on medium heat. And now we're gonna put in the ground turkey in this. I'm gonna take my ground turkey, open up the package, which I should have opened the, the package before, right? All right, I'm gonna get my dandy spatula that I love using. This is my very spatula, by the way. All right, and then we're gonna, <coughs> Stick this ground turkey into our pot. There it is. There it is. So now, there you go. And mind you, ground turkey does not change into brown, in case you're expecting it to. It does not. Brown turkey does not change colors into brown. It's like a light opaque type of thing, or like, I don't know, I forget the, the color that Melissa tells it that it is. All right, there we go. All right, so now that we have that in here, 
we're gonna pour in the rest of the oil that we have here. We're gonna let this simmer and cook. We're gonna coat. Oh, and by the way, that was one cup of olive oil. Just in case you guys were wondering about that. Because I know my my wife would be like, well, would you look to me? Well, listen, not everybody does all that. Some people only put a little bit, some people put a lot. It all depends on the person, you know. You know, when they cook, when you're cooking and seasoning, if you decide you want to omit certain things, that's totally up to you because you are the one that's eating it. So you can do that. All right. I see if I can find the lid because I don't remember where I put the lid. I should have found that first, right? Ah, there we go. All right. So now that we have the ground turkey uh, cooking, we're gonna let it uh, cook up for a little bit, and then we're gonna start adding ingredients that you need. For this. Now mind you, once I start saying the ingredients, please grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, and start writing them down. Because there's no way for me to show you the ingredients on here because <laughs> I don't have a TV person next to me to do that. So, okay. Right? And mind you, unless you have a non-stick um, powder bowl, or uh, yeah, pot, right? um, that you're using, this will stick to those things. There. So, the next thing is you're going to need to add for our quesadilla that we're making with the ground turkey um, is onions. So we took up one cup of a white onion, here's one cup of white onion, that we're going to add into this to literally cook with it. And then there's other ingredients that we're going to add that either come later or come now. So this is one of the ones that's going to come now. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, right? And then, I was thinking about that as it left my mouth, and then I'm like, oh, damn! I, 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 I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna walk off. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk off. I can't. <laughs> Alright, so add in your um, cut up one onion. Now, mind you, I cut this up in half and then cut it into the into slits, but because the onion already come in, comes in layers, they'll pre cut themselves or not, they'll slide themselves off. I should say, in this. So here you go. Here's our one cup of onion that we're gonna mix into this. Cause I love onions, man. Onions are freaking delicious. Just don't eat it as an apple. I don't know why would you? Who, who, who had it actually? I wanna know that. Who has ever been dared to eat an onion as if it was an apple? That'd be interesting to know. I don't know. I, I guess just, it's just for my own like preference and knowledge to know if someone has ever been dared to do that. And no, I have not. I've never done that. Just to let you know, no. I've never came across somebody who told me to do that. There's no evidence of it. I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna deny I'm gonna deny that claim. Okay, I'm gonna deny that claim. <laughs> Alright, so so far we got the ground turkey, we have the onions. I'm gonna put that to the side. Alright. So now once that we let that cook for a little bit, the next thing we're gonna start to add into this is salt and black pepper. Now for the salt and black pepper, the salt is to taste. The ground pepper is about a tablespoon. So, tablespoon? No, one teaspoon. Oh, one teaspoon. Let me see. So, as base, we're going be here. They would try to measure the stuff. So, I'm just going to do that just for, for my wife because she's awesome and I'm going to do that for her. So, it says one tablespoon of salt. Get it out of this container. Okay. Oh, this way. This is an actual bigger side. Hey, babe, what up? Hey, sorry. I'm not there late day or work. It's okay, babe. 
Listen, I've been talking about you since I started. So here you go. One tablespoon of salt. Man, you can omit this if you need to. There you go. Alright, tablespoon of salt. And then one tablespoon of black pepper. There we go. All mixed together. And mind you, mind the way, and I, I created uh, some little, small little things over here. You guys can see, oh wait, I have a breakfast. Wait, I have a breakfast? No, it's like this, right? Lunch, <laughs> you see it, right? Lunch break delicious? No, it's backwards. Lunch break delicious. Wait, I don't know, which, whichever way you guys are seeing it, I don't know if it's the right way, the, the, whichever way you see it, I wrote lunch break delicious on salt and pepper, by the way. I got bored on it. All right, let's mix this in. There we go. Mmm. And this is already starting to smell good. This is gonna be the what's gonna go inside of our quesadillas. Like I said, I'm gonna show you a nice little hack to that stuff. <laughs> Wait, are you saying I guess to the uh, the little salt pepper salt and pepper shaker thing? Listen, I have to show it at least once. You might have that as you know <clears throat> for something later. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, it's still a little bit of oil. No oil left behind. Come on, come on. No oil left behind. There. All right. So the next thing you're gonna add into this is some minced garlic. Like I said, so I prepared everything for you guys already. So for the minced garlic part, it says half a tablespoon. And I already measured everything now for Melissa's sake. <laughs> That's the tick tock song in my head. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so here's the one tablespoon um, of minced garlic. So I'm gonna add the one tablespoon of minced garlic. There you go. <laughs> what are you talking? Wait, what's something you talking about, man? You, you have me going like what? Um, and then the next thing that this calls for is for chili powder. But I'm gonna be using cayenne pepper. So we're gonna do half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Make sure we get all cayenne pepper. Then mix that in. Sure everything is getting all those flavors. Make sure to literally mix that thoroughly. So what happened? Who in the Oh my god, no, 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 no. Ah oh, damn, now you got now you stuck it in my head. Damn it. That's what happened. See, and it's funny because I ha I've been having that other song from TikTok in my head where the the, the ring one, you know. Marry me, Juliet. Yeah, yeah, you guys know what the hell damn song is, man. That's been playing all over my freaking brain all day today. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna close this up for a little bit. Let that simmer. So, mind you, so the the, the three things we've added to this is just the, the onions, the salt, the ground pepper, the minced garlic. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, no, we had more than that. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five things we've added to this so far. We're gonna let that cook a little bit. So now, the next, uh, actually, the next thing I'm gonna add is the cilantro. So for the cilantro, hey Laura, what up? So for the cilantro part, what happened? They said, careful with the spice if you have heartburn. Yes, that is very true. So like I, I said before, you can do this however way style you want, because literally you're the one that's enjoying it. So you you can omit whatever you want onto this and season it however way you want. You know, just leave in the the you know the onion part and leave in certain other things that you might need from it. But just omit it to however way you're liking it. So the next part that this calls for is two tablespoons of cilantro, which you can leave out if you wanted to. Okay. So I'm gonna add in. 
two tablespoons of cilantro. That was a lot. Even I said when I looked at her, like, what? Two tablespoons? What? And mind you, this is all for, this, all the ingredients is for a pound worth of either ground turkey or ground beef. So it's literally up to you when you're making it. You decide how much of whatever. Um, and then there's, there's things online on sites where you can actually use for it to portion the stuff out. Like, so if you're only doing half a pound and you want certain ingredients to be what they were, there's, I forgot the name of the website that Babe uses, to tell her, okay, if this, this, this is how much you need of that. If it's this, this is how much you need of that because you're, you're portioning it out, right? So we just mixed in our cilantro into the batch. Wow, this smells freaking good. Oh, and I gotta get a spoon because this tastes good. Or maybe I'll use my other favorite spatula. Or my original favorite spatula. Oh, babe, you got that song stuck in my head now. Now I'm singing in my head. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Alright, so the next thing this calls for <laughs> is for. Uh, where is it? Hold on. Three tablespoons. And mind you, those other things were teaspoons. The other ingredients that I put in. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. Not tomato sauce or to uh, spaghetti sauce. Tomato paste. Three three tablespoons of it. And like I said, I measured everything out already. So we're going to add in our three tablespoons of tomato paste. That infused all my stuff. Because it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better and it's gonna get interesting. Like I said, the only thing I, I changed was the fact of the, um, the chili powder. Because uh, I don't have chili powder. So, yeah, that's a lot. Chili powder to me is spicy and other stuff. And I think we have a guest. Give me one second, peoples. Yes. Sorry about that, folks. That was my dad. My dad just did the, uh, Delivery of food. <laughs> I would have put it in my lap, but you know, you kind of shy, so. Um, so, yeah, so my dad just did the delivery. So, there you go. So, now we added that. And the next thing we're going to add into this is that it calls for four tablespoons of butter. Why? I don't know. But hey, it's part of the recipe, right? So, here's our four tablespoons of butter. <laughs> Okay. This is all part of the all part of the recipe. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I'll try to see if I can get them on one day into the live. Oh my God, yo, this is looking fantastic. Okay, now now I understand why why it's needed. Holy, sick. you guys gotta see this. I know people on Instagram can't see it fully. But you guys gotta see how this is coming out. Holy crap, and I'm thinking, nah, it's gonna look bad because of all the stuff it's asking for. But, what? Hold up. <laughs> Yo, come see this. Look. Look how this looks. Am I covering it? Hold on, I'm just making sure I don't cover it with the, the light. But look how it's looking. It's crazy. I'm gonna set you by the back right there. Alright. Alright. So what is everybody saying? What up, Mario? I'll be making my own infused butter soon. Yes! <laughs> I don't know what you wrote there, James. I I'll what? Alright, so we got that done. Now the last thing this needs 
is of course, of course well, what's, what's our main dish that we're making? What's the name of the dish we're making today? Cheesy ground turkey quesadillas. Besides the fact that of the, the other stuff that we need for this. Um, so yeah, so before we add in the cheese, I'm gonna do that. Hey, 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 that's from Mario. Um, I love chives. I'm gonna add in some chives. It's not a, it's not part of the ingredients, but I'm gonna add it because I find, I want to. Because I love chives. Like legit, I had my wife buy me like a whole bunch of bottles from Dollar Tree of chives. <laughs> Uh, let's mix it. Oops. See? Alright, I told you. This was my original ferret one, and I don't end up using it again. Alright. Let's mix in our chives that we just added to this. The next thing we need to do is add in our cheese. Now, for this part, <laughs> you guys are talking to each other. Mary and James are saying hi, hi to each other, by the way. Um. The next part of this is one cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Which I should just put this on some some bread and make some grilled cheese. Maybe we should do some grilled cheese on lunch break. What you guys say? Yeah? Alright, so I'm gonna add this cheese. One cup of cheese into the mix. And begin to mix it. And it doesn't need that much time because once it starts to infuse itself, as you see here, the cheese has already melted. Now you can set this to low because this portion is gone. But on. See? Look at this, yo, I gotta show you guys. I know, I'm, so, I'm sorry for the Instagram people who can't really see this. I'm gonna try to bring it close to you guys. Here you go, here you go, you guys can see it. Now, people are on Facebook, I'm gonna bring it this way. Look at that. Look at how it looks. Can't wait. All right, so, here comes our second thing to do now. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put this to the side. Right, because here now comes the second portion of what we need to do for cheesy ground turkey quesadillas. So mind you, we did the stuff in part for the quesadillas. What is Mario said? Grilled cheese with bacon, tomatoes on the side. Yes! Well, we did that. I, I think we did that already. We did that for one of the episodes. What am I talking about? I just realized that. Melissa said, yo, new yokers are so damn nosy. You know what it says? Alright, so, we're going to be using some flour tortillas, but these are low carb flour tortillas that I'm stealing from babe. And because she's not here, she can't hit me. I'm just telling you. <laughs> babe, I'm stealing your tortillas. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound right now. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna take these guys and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So, like I said before in the beginning, um, normally a quesadilla is done when you take a flour tortilla, right? Yo. Some more on that too. Yes, we're using olive oil. Put it in the drop. Coat the pan. And then, of course, you can also use the spatula to spread it around. You know? To help it spread, just to help the love, help the love of it to, to spread all over the place. Love of it. Right, so we, the, we have that on low. So what we're gonna do? So normally a uh, quesadilla is done like this. Why is this okay. One, whatever the stuff that goes in the middle. Oh, people who are watching, right? So basically, a quesadilla is done like this. You got the the flour tortilla at the bottom. You put whatever um, that you're gonna put on the quesadilla. Then you put another flour tortilla on top, and then cook it. And then, then you have your quesadilla and then you use pizza cutter and chop that thing up. I am going to show you a different method of doing to make it into a nice little pocket because when the quesadilla is cut up, all the sides are exposed. 
there's nothing holding it together when you try to, you know, you know, to me, that, to me, that sounds messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flour tortilla. Mind you, do this trick the next time you do this. People are going to be like, what? Right? Cut it in half. It gets yourself two pieces. Now, now you have two pieces, right? Here comes the fun part. So you get your... Now you get your stuffing, right? Get your stuffing. Put it right in the middle. I'll just drop a little bit, but it's okay. And try to keep it in the middle. And don't don't overstuff it or put too much. There's a reason for it, right? And then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna wrap it as if it was a crepe or a wrap, right? But you keep it as a triangle. Boom, just like this. You fill it up, roll it up, and bam. You see it? And you made it into a little tortilla. Now, you're gonna put it with the flap down on your pan or skillet for it to cook. Mind you, that's all you gotta do. It's the same thing. Get your tortilla, get your stuffing, put the stuffing in the middle. Remember, you don't want to overfill it. And then wrap it. What did Mary say? That's all over. It happens everywhere. But look, see? Triangle, close. Triangle, close. See? Does it fall off the sides? Except for the bottom. And then put it right in your skillet to cook. Bam. So now, once it's fully cooked, the only spot it's gonna come down from <laughs> is the bottom. <laughs> and then that's all you do. You cook it for a few minutes on there, and then boom, you have yourself a pocket where the food stays in the middle and only comes down the bottom, which is just a grease, and you can enjoy it. And I just thought about that today, by the way. I did. So, I'm gonna show you again. So you take your tortilla. Boom, show everybody. Cut it in the middle. As good as you can. Get one pour. Circle your side first, right? Get your stuff in. Put your stuff in. Remember, don't overfill it. There you go. And then, as you do a crap, drain the fold, drain the fold. Boom. And put it face down on the fold into your pan. Oh, damn. Hey, look, my dog came on. Tiene que tras, what tras, tucito, en español, yo no lo entiendo. So by the way, my dad just wrote, I have to translate it in Spanish because he doesn't understand. So, I do have people who do watch, and thank you there for that. Mind you, people want to see you the next time. So, pa que, pa que gente sepa lo que estamos haciendo, que estamos cayendo la tortilla, redondo, cortando la mitad, y ahora le vamos a poner la carne en el medio. Okay, con un chin, pues no le ponga tanto, ahí en el medio, same thing I'm just saying, put it in the middle. There we go. No ponga tanto, no me apago lo suficiente para ponerlo, para cerrarlo. There we go. Después, un lado, con un triángulo, y el otro va lo mismo. Ya que tú lo tienes, lo pone a boca abajo, lo pone a cocinar. Yes, fish, baby! <laughs> there you go, look at that. Mm. Now at this point, once you start, when, once you flip them over, I'm gonna do the last two so we can put it in the pan. Um, you can put some cheese on top on the, on the piece that actually melted to give it a little more boom. <laughs> really big. 
my, 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 my wife just wrote Kilo Kim Money is like a saying for the US Dominican. So, here you go. One more last time. Okay, lo corto por mitad. Corto un pedazo. El pedazo que es redondo. Okay. Le pone la carne en el medio. Nada más pongo lo suficiente. No lo ponga para que se sale todo desde el lado. Pongo lo suficiente en el medio. Okay. Después coge un lado, un esquina de lado, el otro, con un triángulo y en la otra esquina, lo mismo, y lo cierra. Después lo pone boca abajo para que se cocine. Y ahí está. There we go. Now the last one. Para la gente que están viendo ahora, estamos haciendo quesadilla pero en forma de bolsillos. Did that make sense? I don't know, I don't know the, uh, the, the term in Spanish for quesadilla pockets or um, crepes or something like that. Right? Equina, or equina. Boom. Oh, slip it out. And the last one will put it down. Now, we'll take some tongs. Flip this. Oh, look at that. Look at that piece. I gotta figure out how to get better tongs, too. Flip these dishes, but yeah. look at that. So now, at this point, now that the it has been sealed, these are the brand new ones that we put in there. What you can do is that you can put some cheese on the very top. Quesadilla estilo bolsillo. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. See, there you go, my dad's helping me out with Spanish because I have no clue. Alright. So there you go. So I'm only going to make six only because it's only me and my wife here today. So I'm only making six. Unless, Dad, do you to get the tray I go no I'll make you some. What does James say? James says something flat to flip, maybe. Yes! Ooh. You know what would be cool? Like if you put it into a waffle maker like this, or a quesadilla maker, and just cook them that way. Or maybe the grill. I'm just saying. So mind you, I haven't seen anyone actually actually do what Carlos! Um so I probably is the first one who did this. Probably? I don't know. But this is what I thought of today, because I was like, guess I think your regular style cut it in half, it's gonna spill on the sides. There has to be a way to fold it like, uh, not burritos, a folded triangle. I'm just saying, it works. No, I don't like turkey. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot you always bought me the turkeys. <laughs> um, I have a quesadilla maker in storage. Yes, I know you do, man. <laughs> What's that? Babe said, that's okay, make more. So, eat them. I'm sorry. Okay. I saw make more. So once this is done, I'll do some, some new ones. But that's basically all you have to do. Oh, and by the way, peoples, all this stuff is good, because I'm going to have to take out the first three ones. Uh, let me take out these first three first, before I know something. Oh, you know what? Maybe these are better. Probably these are better. These are better. These are definitely better to use. 
Yep. Back to travel. I know they will be saying some certain words. There you go. That's, that's good. <laughs> then I'm just gonna, let me get the other tongs so I can take some of these uh, rem remembrance. So I'm just gonna garnish right on top of them. Now, see when I flipped these over, I wanted to show you what I wanted to do with these before. Hey, right. so if you get some cheese, I actually finished off all the cheese that I had in there for the the cup. You get these some some of this cheese, and you put it on the top. After this has been flipped over, you can make more cheese quesadilla. Okay. You only want a little bit. You don't want to put too much. There you go. So I'm gonna put those to the side. Put we'll them there, and then I'll do the uh, presentation for you later on. So those people who are just tuning in, I'm gonna show you again what you have to do. I think these are about to red tape too. No what? Another cheese that has plenty of milk in it, but you get the gist of it. I don't want these to, uh, ah, that's the problem with some see. So if I don't grab them from the sides, they actually start to spill out. Like I said, we need something better than this thing. Use. Alright, so now, I'm going to show you one more time how to make this. Then I'll show you my surprise for you guys. Let's clean this. Uh, so, all you gotta do is take a flour tortilla. Now, mind you, you're not doing the regular quesadilla way. What happened? Uh, Jandro, keep making them until the show is done. Oh no, I got a surprise though, that's why. Uh, and then, that's blank. Let me describe the folding process. Sour cream dill and chives, yes. And then James says something white and flat. <laughs> oh yes, white. Oh, I'm so stupid. I think they have this like spatula thing that holds it down and then you can flip them, I think. I think I've seen it. All right, so here you go. So we're gonna take the quesadilla. I'm okay, la quesadilla. Or oh, oh, the flour tortilla. We're gonna cut it in half. Simple, right? You get whatever your stuffing is. Right? It's like this. This is our stuffing. This is the ground turkey with the cheese, the onions, the garlic, um, paprika, and all that stuff. Right? Put this right here. Right? Just enough to put in our quesadilla. Don't, no pongan tanto. La mano necesita para cerrarlo. So we take one corner, coge una esquina, coge la otra esquina, take the other corner, close it up, and fold this top pocket. Then you put it flat down for it to cook. So there you go. Once again, tortilla, circular side. Those who are watching, I'm gonna put you down here. Hey D, what up? I mean, Albert. <laughs> Why I say D? <laughs> Carl. Jesus Christ, my brain is going. What up, Carl? <laughs> I saw Alan Burry, I was like, what? My bad, I'm sorry. I do apologize for that. All right, so put the stuffing in the middle of the quesadilla, and I'm gonna put you guys down this way so you can see it. You just put enough so you can close it. There you go. One side, triangle. Other side, triangle. Hold it up. Just into a little triangle, just like this. 
make sure you do it in Spanish. <laughs> and then you put a flap down. The point is, I woke up at home. Like I said, like I said, cocina, so it can cook. There you go. Now, while that's cooking, because <laughs> I'll do more for a second, um, I got an actual surprise. So, we know we've talked about bringing people on live and cooking, you know, stuff like that. I got a surprise for you guys. Hold on. Introducing live chat. Yes, we have live chat right now. Look at it. Whoa. Those who are watching over here, look at it. Uh, I think you'll be able to see it. There we go. We have live chat. We're going to bring somebody randomly into our live right here, chatting. Yes, we're going to be capable of doing that. We're going to bring someone live to the show. But <laughs> Now, it could be anybody. Anyone. Whoever picks up that I press the button for will be live with us. <laughs> yes. So, let's see who's going to be the lucky person who's going to come on our live and see if they pick up. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this is surprising. Let's bring in my mother in law. Will she pick up, people? Will she pick up? Uh oh, it's dialing. And she picked up! Hello! Welcome to the live! <laughs> there is my mother in law. There you go, Pat is live with us. Da da da! Live! She's on the show! There you go, see? <laughs> Random, see? <laughs> there you go, everybody. So, welcome to Lunch Break. As we're doing here, we are making cheesy ground turkey quesadillas. Look at that, everybody. You're seeing a live person. Welcome. Oh! <laughs> and there you go, that's my father in law. Lewis is on live right there. There you go, see? Now we got two people on the live. See? Live chat. <laughs> so you guys are on TV right now with us. See people? Now we've gotten the law truck. <laughs> so what do you think? I'm not, I'm not, this is what we made for the stuffing. No, no, no. We're bringing closer to you guys so you can see it. <laughs> and then this is what we made. There you go. So. So. No problem. So there you go, people, everybody. Thank you for joining our live. There you go. <laughs> so there you go, people. Live chat. We have brought you live chat finally on the live. And this is how we're going to be bringing random calls. We're just going to dial somebody and they pick up. They'll be live with us. You can ask whatever you want. So without further ado now. Oh, and here. Finally, it's the wife. Woo! The Hi guys. Here. Hi. There you go. Oh, came on the live. Oh. So there you go, people's a lunch break exclusive. Yes, James. Lunch break exclusive. Now we have live chat, which I'm gonna put on the ink for later. <laughs> so yeah. um, I was trying to get Doobie. Uh, Doobie was gonna participate. He wanted to be the first one to do it. Oh. Uh, but he's at a meeting at the moment, so he, he's not available. But he said that for the next one, he will try to do his best to be available. But the wife is here now. So let's congratulate the wife. Thank you for doing what you do best as always. For staying and, you know, Dealing doing, with doing your thing. Dealing with crazy people yes. and sick people and that's what I do. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. So I'm not going to do any more. Um, so we're going to do 
two things up. So I'm gonna say goodbye to the last chat person. Bye! Bye. The second thing is, we want to send a congratulations and a happy birthday to Lisa, um, my Lisa from Kiki TV. Whose birthday is today? And happy birthday to our niece, Zoe. Yes. Our niece, Zoe, Zoe turned so, four. Happy birthday to Lisa, happy and birthday to Zoe. Zoe. And happy birthday to all those people who are still having birthdays at the end of this month. And now we're moving into August, because actually technically you're not going to see this until August anyway. But thank you everybody for that. It hasn't been a traditional birthday that you're used to, but guess what? Thank God you see another birthday. Some yes. people don't get to see it, so... That is very true. So now, we will just decide. There's some there for you to taste test if you want. Now? Uh, you don't have to now. You can t Actually, no. Let's taste test the stuff, because everybody knows what a quesadilla flour tortilla tastes like anyway. So, todo el mundo sabe como se sabe una tortilla, pero la diferencia es que... What we want to try to do is that to see if our stuffing actually came out good. That's what we want to try to see for reals. So Dave is going to taste test the stuffing portion of the, the quesadilla. So they are going to eat a portion to see and taste it. I don't know. I can't, I can't say that. The, to savor, I don't know how to savor. Say savor in Spanish. Sabio, no, but I think it's like saborar, so like the, the like the flavor, something. Like, I don't know. Dad, chime, chime in, tell me, let me know. Um, ¿Cómo se, cómo le gusta? Puede comer un chin chin like porque tiene un estómago como chiquitito. Yeah, my wife has a small little stomach. For those who, who don't know that, uh, ella tiene un estómago chiquito, pero es que ella no puede comer tanto. So there's, there's your translation, people. <laughs> so here we go. Careful, it's hot. Uh -huh. Oh, we're good. It's cool. Woo! I was afraid. You know what it tastes like to me? Please don't. Hamburger helper. I knew it! That's all like looking at the, the recipe and it reminds it me of like that. It tastes like hamburger helper but the cheesy one. All it's missing is the noodles. See, and Mr. it's like the, that, That's what the recipe like kind of like reminded me it of. It does, bit. but it is actually really good. I would have probably cut back on the onion a little bit. Only because onions kind of like upset my stomach a little bit. Yeah, because I'm like... A whole full chopped cup onion. Like, I understand why they did it though. Yeah? Yeah, oh, it's for, the, for the flavor. Got it. But um you could probably put onion powder instead, but oh. definitely That's a nice tip it. Yeah. It's it's really good. I'm not saying it's not, but I right. would I would have probably done the um the onions I probably would have cut back. Just only because like I said, I'm sensitive to some no, things. No, I so. got you. But That's awesome. Okay. So now let me show you guys. Oh, did this thing turn off? I guess yes. That's why I lost my light. Oh no, it's, it, I never turned it on. <laughs> I don't think I ever turned on the light, did I? I don't remember. All right, so now let me show you the presentation piece that I'm gonna create. Hand me one of the white bowl. The he white draws bowl. everything out. What are you talking about? This is hand me your own white plate. Because I want to take a shower and eat. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take one of these. I don't think that's the good one. I'm going to take this. The one with it. Actually, I'm going to take that one. The one with the cheese. Cheese! So this way I have to show the presentation. The one without, the one with. Right? Hand me the quesadilla. The um, sour cream. Alright? And then. Where's, where's our. Oh man. Parsley, no. This tells you how much I use parsley, by the way. <laughs> so I'm just gonna decorate this a little bit with some parsley on the sides. There you go. Do, do, the dollop, do, do, the dollop, do, do, the dollop of Daisy. You don't know that? Oh my no, god. And then basically put some sour cream on the side. Or you can actually use whatever dressing you like to use sour cream, guacamole, or regular salad dressing. Babe uses cheddar bacon ranch. ranch. And that thing is delicious. It is. But you know what would have made greatness on this, people? If I had some tzatziki sauce. <laughs> some tzatziki sauce. Just saying. Just saying. And there you have it, people. There is our quesadilla, for those on Instagram to see it. 
a little quesadilla pockets. Cheesy ground turkey quesadillas wrapped in a pocket. And those are on Facebook who are watching. I'm gonna bring it this way. You guys can see it, there you go. My dad. And that's the wife, who's eating. <laughs> Snacking because I'm trying to get to the shower. Yes. So, thank you everybody once again for joining us on our live. I thank you all for the love, the support, the many, everything you guys do for us and give us and literally make us continue doing these programs. Um, and of course, thank you to my wife who's always there supporting me and giving me the shoulder to Lena. Boo! <laughs> But thank you everybody, please stay safe, enjoy your day, stay, um, literally, stay please, please, we want to see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, what up Lisa? How you doing? Who was Lisa? On time? Um, so yes, thank you everybody for tuning in and watching us make our cheesy brown turkey quesadilla. And for everybody out there, please visit our social medias. Go to IMDb, look up lunch break one word, share, like, comment, the whole thing to everybody in the world, share these videos, and join our social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, we have it, Christian Ivar on page, you're an and TikTok. So, everybody, thank you once again, we love you, and as we say here on lunch break, because this was lunch break delicious. It was. <laughs> this is going to be even more lunch break delicious later. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Um, don't start off less and make it your best. <laughs> best. Feta. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got angry at you. Thank you, everybody. We'll catch you later.